we are probably the first and only generation in human history that is facing this problem. My name is Giorgio Patrini and I'm a founder and CEO at DeepTrace. Deepfakes per se is really not a technical term. It's something that came out of a Reddit sub-community for people creating synthetic videos using AI. So the definition actually has expanded and widened a lot in the last couple of years to embrace a lot of very different things that just uh, look or sound realistic to our eyes and ears that are most of the time generated with this type of uh, AI-based algorithms. The most recent example of, of defects that people may have seen, may have watched, uh, are really something that you can find on YouTube. And I guess the most impressive are actually when people do face swap between uh, actors and actresses in movies. Maybe people have seen uh, from The Shining, the movie, or where uh, one of the creators, one of the most popular creators on YouTube, uh, uh, swap the face of Jack Nicholson with uh, Jim Carrey. And it, actually, if you would not have seen that movie, and I've shown that to people that have never seen that movie, uh, they would not notice that anything is amiss in the video. Until today, we could create a video recording of something about reality that everybody would have accepted as, you know, a likely proof of something happened before. Um, and the reason why we believe those videos, until yesterday at least, was simply because there was no technology able to change them and manipulate them at wish and so realistically. So it's just the absence of a technology that kept us thinking, we can trust this video, we can trust this phone call. There is another human person on the other side. Today we face the challenge uh, that this technology is readily available and easy to use and inexpensive for people to do harm, potentially. Society needs a solution. Technology is going to be part of the solution, but it is probably not all of it. So indeed, uh, a lot of the activity that we do at DeepTrace is also trying to understand uh, the extent of the problem, the scope, uh, what are the tools that are in the hands of uh, people that want to do harm, how easy it is to use them for harm and uh, created technology defensively against those type of misuses. We can see if we focus in particular on synthetic videos, most of them on the internet would be still today about face swapping. And uh, we found the number that it is growing very fast. But, but importantly, most of the people that are being put uh, into, non-consensually into those videos are women. Main reason, uh, the large majority of this video that we found online today are up to 96% uh, are about uh, fake pornography. And that is the single most, uh, uh, the single biggest uh, problem related with the fakes uh, today. So today, the way we recognize other people in a video is through their face or through their voice, right? So that to me is scary. Uh, we, can this, we can make satire, but we can also make tailored videos of people that we want to damage. Uh, we may do that publicly, or we may even do that privately and uh, threaten them or blackmail them asking them to do something, uh, uh, otherwise uh, those videos will be published. So this is not hypothetical, this already happened uh, a, a few times. But I think there is more. So what you are seeing uh, as development of this technology uh, on the internet, some of these tools are becoming uh, available also in real time. And the threat here is literally somebody is going to video call you pretending to be a colleague of yours and asking you a favor and you're going to trust them because their face is their face and maybe also their voice is exactly what you remember 
So shall we stop believing in anything that we see in videos, over social media, on, on, on TV? I don't, I don't think so. I think though, in front of us, there is this uh, difficult challenge. We need to re-educate ourselves of being uh, more careful on what we believe uh, simply because it is in a video recording. I think for the next generation it will be just much easier because people will be born uh, with uh, the understanding that uh, if something is on a video, it doesn't mean uh, it actually happened. It might have been just created by an algorithm. We need to have that uh, change of behavior when we consume uh, digital media. And that's gonna come, but it will, it will take some time, so and probably up and down. Well, for people that are creating this, this sort of stuff uh, without any legitimate purpose, without consent uh, of anyone involved in these videos, well, I can just say, guys, we are watching you.